climate change, an unfolding crisis created by humanity that could bring impending doom. What is it and what are its effects? Watch this video to find out. Climate change is caused by the greenhouse effect, where the atmosphere prevents heat from the sun from escaping into space. This phenomenon occurs because of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide being the most notorious one. Yet there are other gases too, such as water vapour, nitrous oxide and methane that contribute to climate change. Methane actually has a greater warming effect per molecule than CO2, so we also need to consider our methane emissions as well. Now we know what climate change is, let's delve into its effects. Firstly, rising temperatures mean that ice sheets are melting, drastically increasing sea levels. This means that coastal floods are becoming more common, potentially destroying both habitats and homes. Furthermore, hot and dry conditions could exacerbate the problem of wildfires, which lead to the extinction of many species as well as having a devastating impact on humans. If you want to learn more about wildfires, click the card appearing on your screen now. Global warming also impacts our weather. Changes in rainfall patterns make floods and excess precipitation more frequent while simultaneously creating more drought elsewhere. Again, this is dangerous and obvious effect on both humans and local ecosystems. But extreme weather isn't just droughts and floods, storms and hurricanes have become more common, more intense and more destructive. This is why we need to proactively tackle the climate crisis. Our planet is warming fast due to our skyrocketing carbon dioxide and methane emissions, which are mainly caused by burning fossil fuels. So, to combat this, we need to phase out coal, oil and gas and use more renewable energy sources. Solar, wind and geothermal energy will never run out unlike fossil fuels, and they will emit almost no greenhouse gas emissions. Yet, this may not be enough. As well as releasing less carbon into the atmosphere, we also need to remove CO2 in order to reduce warming to a manageable level. This can be done via carbon capture and storage. Another way to combat climate change is by managing agriculture and nature sustainably. By preventing deforestation and promoting reforestation, we can simultaneously reduce global warming and boost biodiversity. Essentially, conserving and protecting natural resources is vital if we are to curb this climate crisis. We can hinder global warming, but we cannot be complacent. After all, this is a code red for humanity. <laughs> 